to my channel. My name is Blair and this is the Blair Book Project. Um, this is not the video that I was planning to post today, um, but, oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, this is Jack. He is a monster. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that, baby. He um, is very bothered. I don't know why. So I was scrolling through YouTube and I saw one of my comments um, Okay, sorry about that. Um, I was scrolling through my comments and I saw that I had a comment from Not Your Average Miranda and she was really sweet and so I wanted to go check out her channel and stop playing with the ball, Jack. Oh. Okay, so the squeaking might continue through the video, I apologize. Um, so I saw um, a couple of her videos and one in particular stuck out to me because it was for thriller thon and I really, love thrillers. It's kind of like my bread and butter. It's what, if I don't know what to read, it's going to be a thriller. Jack, stop. And so I was blown away. I was like, I'm going to do this. Um, and then I saw that it started technically at midnight last night. I was like, oh, I'm really late, but I'm going to film a video and I'm going to get started and I'm probably going to cheat a little bit and double up some books for some questions. And um, without further ado, let's get started um question number one your most anticipated thriller and for me that is sharp objects by gillian flynn i love gillian flynn i've read a couple of her other books um and this one has actually been on my tbr for a long time so it also fills the role for number three as well no it doesn't it's for number two <laughs> been on your tbr the longest um so I wanted to read this one. It also fills a requirement for number five, um, revisit a thriller book or author. And I have so many books on my TBR, I didn't want to read another book, uh, read a book I'd already read before. So I decided to pick this one out and um, take it off my shelf and read it. So um, I'm really excited about it. I have started it, I'm about like, three pages in, <laughs> not that far. It's about a woman who's a reporter and she is being sent back by her editor to her hometown to cover the murder of two girls and that sounds awesome. I love thrillers, I love women-led thrillers, so I'm really excited to read this one. Um, okay, so for number three, since I already covered one and two, um, is your most recently added to your TBR. And for me, that is Happy Doomsday by David Sosnowski. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Um, this one is actually pretty out of left field for me because it is a YA novel. Um, it's kind of like The Breakfast Club meets The Purge. So these three kids from different social groups um are kind of the remainers remain remaining people i don't i don't know a whole lot about this book i haven't heard a whole lot about it but I mean, they're like the remaining people after the purge and they're left with repopulating i don't know um the description kind of alluded to the fact that there were the only three left i don't know how that's possible but we'll see um because they're all teenagers um the cover is pretty cute and that is actually kind of why I picked it. Uh, it was a Amazon Prime, um, Amazon Reads pick. And if you don't have Amazon Prime or you don't know about Amazon Reads, um, each month they give you six books to choose from um, and you can select one to download for free. And it's usually like a month before the release date. And I picked this one last month, this month, I don't remember. Um, sorry, this is, I'm being, I'm really quickly filming this so that I can post it tonight. Um, so I picked it and I hope I like it. If not, it was free, so I'm not too worried about it. Jackie, please be careful. He almost like knocked down the table that my phone is sitting on and that would not have been good. Okay, number four. Um, the thriller with the best cover. 
Now, this one is not technically a thriller. Um, I had just started reading it. Well, I'm listening to the audiobook and slash reading it. Um, and I started doing that before I found out about a thriller-a-thon and I didn't want to stop because I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, it's actually a nonfiction. It's a memoir and it is called Educated by Tara Westover. Um, if you've never heard of this book, I think you should read it uh, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, I am only about two hours into the audiobook and I was really, really mad that I had to leave work because that meant I had to stop listening to my audiobook. Um, I work in a kind of creative job so that leaves me time to listen to audiobooks if I'm doing like sketches and things because it's kind of just like background noise. Um, but if I'm doing more my technical side of my job where I have to like do math and write emails, I don't really listen to audiobooks. But since I was doing a lot of creative work today, I got to listen to audiobooks. And this was one that I have had on my TBR for a long time too. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna listen to it. And I'm loving it. It is about a woman who grew up in the mountains with her family and they were not sent to school. They were basically preparing for the doomsday. Um, and they, her father was very um, paranoid about the government being involved in their lives. And it wasn't until that she's in college, I think it is, that she actually starts going to school and gets educated. Um, her family is very religious, but that doesn't really play a part into their upbringing, other than the fact that her father will just like spout random verses from the Bible and then claim that that's why he's, like they live the way that they do. At one point he says like, milk is terrible and butter and so all they do they get rid of all the milk and cheese and butter in their house but honey is apparently fine and so they bring in like tons of honey and they'll eat cereal with water and honey so far i'm really really loving it it kind of reads like a fiction novel. Um, so if you are new to, um, what's the word, memoirs. Couldn't think of the word memoirs. Oh dear God, it's been a long day. Um, if you're new to memoirs, this is a good place to start because it does not read like a memoir. And that's actually kind of the reason I put it off for so long is I was afraid it was gonna read like a typical memoir where it's very like, this is the facts, this is what happened, done. This one, she puts a lot of imagery in it. Her, the way that she writes is really lovely. Um, so it actually does read more like fiction. So if you are, I know I keep saying this, if you are looking for a memoir to read, I suggest this one. I haven't finished it. I'm only about two hours into the audiobook. So um, as soon as I finish it, I will post a review. But so far, I'm really liking it. Um, and then number five, um, revisit a thriller book or author. I already did that with Sharp Objects. So that is my TBR for this week. Um, the combination of hard copies. Um, I have a ebook for Happy Doomsday and audiobooks. I will hopefully get through all three books this week. If not, at least I tried. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a great day. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, yeah.